Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. Today is a cooking video and I am making <sighs> sloppy joe potato bolts. <laughs> so um, right now I have my potatoes peeled, cut up, and boiling. I don't need to show you how to do that, right? Um, but I am going to show you how I construct them, how I make the sloppy joes because I am, I'm not using a sloppy joe mix. I'm going to be doing uh, my own sloppy joe mix so we'll be showing that to you and then how i construct the whole thing okay so we're going to put a little bit of oil in our pan ow and we're going to put in one i think this is about it's like a large onion it's probably too much onion and then we're going to put in some green bell pepper and we're going to cook this up until it gets translucent and then we're going to add the meat and while that does its thing i'm going to get the potatoes mashed and i'm going to show you how i do you know what i add to the potatoes so here are my potatoes i'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of salt And we're going to start mashing it and i'm going to determine if i need to add any milk to it because we do not want a very wet egg because we want it to hold together sort of almost like a not quite like a dough but we want it to hold its shape yeah these are pretty dry so i'm going to add a little bit of milk to it Okay. Now we're going to add about a cup of shredded cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want. And if the cheese doesn't start melting, I will put this bowl in the microwave for a few minutes to help the cheese melt a little bit. Okay, now the potatoes are mashed, and now I'm going to show you how I shape them into their little boat. So we're going to take our potatoes, and we're going to make little mounds of them. I'm only going to make three mounds because there's only three of us eating. Okay, so now you want to take very clean hands and kind of shape your little potato mound. And then we're going to create a well. And I'm going to do that with all of them. And then we're going to take these and set them in the, in the refrigerator so they can firm up while our meat cooks and cools down. Okay, here's my, let me turn the heat down. Here's my onions. They got a little scorched a little bit. That's okay. That's just going to add to the flavor. And we're going to add a pound of ground beef. I'm using 90-10 ground sirloin. You could use whatever floats your boat, but I think I find 90-10 to be the best. Or you can use ground turkey, ground pork, ground chicken, or use like mushrooms chopped up really good and make a vegetarian version if you want, if you want to. So now we're just going to cook the ground beef up. And then we're going to add... So I'm adding the seasonings to the meat instead of my sauce because I want them to cook with the meat. 
So we've got garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and paprika. Then add some black pepper. And I'm just gonna get this cooked up. And then we're gonna let it cool down. And then we're going to stuff the potatoes with it. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna let it cool down until I put the sauce. I still gotta show you how I make the sauce. So that'll be coming up next. Okay, okay so for the sauce, we're gonna add ketchup. I would say about a cup, because you don't want it to be too sloppy of a sloppy joe mix. And you wanna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a good glug of that, and then a little square of mustard. And then you're just gonna get it mixed in and eyeball if you need more sauce, which would be just add more ketchup and Worcestershire sauce. I wouldn't add any more mustard. That was a pretty big glug of mustard. But make sure you get it distributed because you may not need more. And remember, I put all the seasonings in the meat when I started cooking it, so I'm not adding any more seasonings to the sauce. Here, I gotta open a new ketchup. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more ketchup. And a little bit more Worcestershire sauce. And get everything mixed together and then that should be enough. Then once it's all mixed together, we're gonna take it off the heat and let it cool down and give our potatoes time to firm up in the refrigerator. And then we'll get them filled and then covered with cheese. Okay, so we're ready to fill our potatoes. I just wanna put some meat filling in them. And you can make bigger potato boats if you wanna put more filling. gonna be messy. And then we're gonna take some cheese and put it on top of it and it's okay if the cheese falls off the side because it's gonna gonna seal all that meatness. Oh, I just made a mess of cheese. All that meatiness in there. Okay. So we're gonna stick these in a 350 degree oven until the cheese is melted. Uh-oh, okay. Here, Brian, here's some cheese. Most of it fell on it. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in the oven for, until the cheese melts, about 15 minutes or so. So here they are, my uh, Sloppy Joe potato boats. And they're like, they got a crispy potato skin on the outside now and nice melty cheese. 